Hi, I'm Dan Gamash, and I hope you are having a great day. I'm putting together this video message to talk about um, once you find a home, you, you get into the inspection contingency period, uh, what to look for when you get the package of disclosures from the sellers. Uh, there are an overwhelming amount of disclosures, but I would tell you that probably 85% of them are standard forms that are informational um, for you. It has no content related to the property. Uh, really, there's two in particular that I stress to people I'm working with to focus on the most. Um, it's your transfer disclosure statement, which is a uh, three-page document, and the seller has to answer um, about 20 uh, specific questions. And uh, the second would be the seller property questionnaire, where the seller has to answer uh, in depth, uh, you know, maybe another 20, 30 questions. And in, in particular, I mean, there are questions, are there any malfunctions um, or anything that could affect the value of the property? And the seller has to answer these honestly. If not, they're liable for up to one year. Uh, I had a deal several years ago. We purchased the property in July. Um, so obviously it was a non-rainy uh, part of the year. And one of the questions specifically asked is the backyard, does any part of the house flood or puddle? And he said no. Well, uh, our first rain that we had, it, once we owned the property for several months, um, the back patio was sloped towards the house. So whoever installed it, installed it improperly because it should always slope away from the house. So when rain happens, the water runs away from the home. Well, when, when <laughs> every time this property uh, every time it rained, this property had you know two, three inches of standing water right outside the sliding glass door. So uh, we were able to seek out the seller and uh, get a new concrete patio poured in our uh, in our after our transaction closed six months later. So uh, those are the two most important ones: the seller property questionnaire and the transfer disclosure statements that have content relating to the property. Uh, the rest. You can basically review and, and get familiar with their standards uh, forms informing you about uh, you know, various aspects of the home uh, in general and, and lead-based paint and asbestos and they're just general forms to, to, to explain transfers and um, there's no content related to the property. So if you have any questions you can reach me 925-918 0332 uh, and be sure to take a look at my website trivalleyhomesearch.com thanks a lot have a great day